today I'm going to be showing you Wren by Renea Paris in their new color Milky Opal R. <music> Hi everyone. So today I'm wearing another new release by Renea Paris. This is from their high fashion collection and this is Wren. What do y'all think about Wren? Oh, I've got some stuff to tell y'all about Wren. So Wren was provided to me by name brand Wigs for this review. And before we get started, be sure to subscribe, share, like, comment and come over and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. So I try to upload here on YouTube at least once a week on my Instagram. I'm always on there playing. I'm always doing silly things or posting pictures or silly TikToks or doing something because why not laugh a little, right? And sometimes we even have to laugh at ourselves. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and talk about Wren. As I said, she is a new release by Renea Paris. And in that high fashion collection, there are four of those new styles released. I had two of them. I showed y'all Sage in the last video. So if you have not seen Sage, go check her out. That is such a beautiful wig. She is a favorite of mine, a favorite favorite of mine now she has those beautiful curtain bangs this one here features a 4.25 inch bang now this is a feathery bang and when you do get this one it may mine came out out of the box really flat these bangs were were really really flat to my head so the way the fibers are sewn into this cap they are sewn straight down so it's kind of hard to really move these bangs and style them like I mean you can do that if you wanted to off to the side but I prefer personally a lift a little bit of a lift but especially on these finer the thinner bangs and if they're sewn down into that downward position I would prefer just a little bit more of a lift here and even wouldn't mind if they had a little bit of permatees here since this is a basic cap wig. But there is no permatees that I'm feeling. Well, wait a minute. <laughs> there may be a little here. There may be a little. But not enough for my liking. So I wanted to show y'all what I do. I didn't want to style this bang right off because I wanted to show y'all what I do when I get a wig that has those bangs because this is a lot of hair here. It's, it's not too thick and it's not too thin, but if you've never had hair like this, it may be a little overwhelming for you. But no worries because I have learned over the years what to do with bangs like this that has worked for me personally i don't know so if you guys got any more tips and tricks with what y'all do with the bangs let me know let me know in the comment what y'all do because i appreciate it i really do uh, i like to learn too but what i have learned to do when i get bangs like this that are just flat down I take some synthetic safe hairspray and this is from Beauty Mark what I use for synthetic hair and I just spray it on here on my bangs like this a couple of little squirts and then I just start playing with the fibers and I just gently lift those bangs while the hairspray is still wet and it kind of creates a lift so they're not flat down they look they look good i think <laughs> they look so much better than just being flat onto your forehead one thing i i'm learning and i'm trying to to express to other people that are especially new to wigs you know it is overwhelming i get it sometimes i've been doing this for five years and i'll still get a wig here or there that's a little overwhelming for me but what I have learned is just get in there and treat it as if it was your bio hair, but not with the same products and things like that or the same brushes and combs that you would use on your bio hair. But customize it to fit you as you would your bio hair. As since they do have products, take advantage of it and use them. 
So usually after I get them lifted up like that, I'll put another little spritz on there. There we go. And I'll just keep lifting. So I prefer it just a little bit more like that. And I also have found another product by Beauty Mark, and this is the Velvet Spray Gel. And what I've been doing with this, and I've been using this on like my wavy styles and my curly styles. And I just spray a little bit like that in my hand and I rub it together, my hands. And I just gently go through these wavy styles. It's very, very good at calming the frizz down in these. Oh, it really, really does super well. I love this product. But speaking of curly wigs, guys, I will be showing y'all in my next video one of my favorite, favorite, all-time favorite curly styles. And this is Jamila Plus by Ellen Villa. I'll be showing y'all some of the things that I do personally to take care of my curly wigs and how I style them. Be sure to subscribe y'all and hit that little notification bell and I'll let you know when I have that video up. So Ren has a basic cap. She's a basic cap wig. She has a right at the nape of this girl. Right at the nape. 17 inches here. <laughs> 17 inches long. That is so pretty. So, so pretty. If you get ran and she, you're, she's just like, ooh, 17 inches, just a little bit too long for me, you can always take her and have her customized, guys. Take her to your stylist, or if you know how to cut hair, cut, cut a couple inches off. I even thought about it myself, taking her next time. I take the, my girls in for a trim to take this one in and have my stylist to even... Maybe cut it up to this layer here on the front. I was playing earlier and doing, wouldn't that be cute? That's beautiful. I really, really love these, these wavy styles. But I am a long hair girl, so <laughs> it almost guts me to cut my long hair, my, my long wigs, I should say. It just... I just love it because, unfortunately, wigs don't grow back. <laughs> you know how you get a haircut and somebody, oh, it'll grow back. It don't grow back. So make sure that's what you want if, if you decide to go that route. One thing I have found is that Wren is a perfect length and style to make some little cute ponies with. And one thing that I have learned that with these longer wigs, you can really, really make them cute. You can make them work with these little ponies and with it having this dark rooting, it even works out even better because you, when you part it in the middle here in the back, you can see the dark rooting. So it makes it look like you, you have natural regrowth coming in. which I found <laughs> works really, really great when you wanna, you know, do little ponies like this. But I wanted to show y'all two little, two styles that I like to do, um, or two different ways, I should say, that I like to do these little ponies. You can also just do this in one pony, just pull it back and do it. What I do is I get these little elastic bands, little rubber bands, I get them from Walmart, in a pack and I like to get all the different colored ones just why not just make it more fun and I, I put it put it in two ponies and you can either do it like this oops dropped my comb and I usually go an inch two inches sometimes down depending on the length of the hair and then you just put that elastic band there and you can part it right in the middle, put it apart. I stick my fingers through 
grab that hair, pull it through, and then sometimes I'll roll that little pony right up. So you get kind of a, a look like this. And you can just keep going down. And I'd like to change the colors. Do it again. Okay, once you get it all done, you can go back up. Oops, a little. You can go back up and just like pull the hair apart gently. It's so cute. I think these are styles. I do this on my my daughter's hair all the time. And I thought, hmm. I'm gonna do that on my wig. And it worked. So that's one way that you can do it. It's more of a look like this. I think that is so, so cute. Or you can do the same thing on the other side, but a little different. I always just kind of look at the other side to see about where I place that other elastic band if this one's too long. And you can just leave it just like that and then pull it from the sides and then a little in the middle, kind of make it like a little ball. You can do it like that. And you can do this on a lot of longer wigs. It doesn't have to even be this long. It can, you know, <laughs> it be shoulder length and you can do it. I have done this a lot on, especially in the summertime, and I wear a little ball cap with it or something. Sweet and simple. Sweet and simple right here. You have two choices. You can either make it more of like a round up ball or more sleek like this side. I, I, did, I like either way. It just depends on my mood that day. And then, you know, if it's winter time, you want to wear like a little sock hat or something with it. It's really, really cute, especially with these bangs. And, you know, something like that. It is really, really cute, guys. I love it. So, my mother-in-law made this, by the way. <laughs> and this you could do that. Sometimes I'll even just tuck my bang, the bangs up and just wear it like that. So yeah, I just wanted to show you all this just in case you're interested in styling your long wigs like this. Wren has an average size cap. I have a petite size head, 21 inches in circumference, and I did pull those adjusters just a tad on this one. I did not, again, have to do much with this. As I've said before, most Renee Paris wigs fit me pretty good. I do get one here or there that I really have to adjust and cinch in those adjustments so that it will fit my petite size head. But I'd say if you have an av average or little larger than average size head, this one's gonna fit you just fine. Let me go ahead and show y'all the inside of the cap. Wren has a basic cap here. With bendable ear taps. Pull adjustable straps, felt made. And this one again has some stretch. Okay, let's take a look at her all the way around.
Milky Opal R is a gorgeous fruited blonde with mid-warm brown roots which transcends beautifully into a cream and white blonde with a deeper tone running throughout the bottom and it has subtle opal hues. I'm really impressed with some of these new styles that Renee of Paris have, has came out with and I am feeling a little permatease guys. I forgot to mention that up here around the crown. There isn't a whole lot of permatease as there normally is. Set my brush down. I've had some of the basic caps that is just full of permatease. This one has just enough in my opinion. Actually, if you like your permatease like me, I would prefer just a little bit more. <laughs> I'm just being honest. But if you are just new to permatease and everything, this one is just perfect. So don't be afraid to get in there and mess it up and give yourself a little lift. But anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching and joining me today. I so appreciate each and every one of you, and I so appreciate all of your support and love that I get from y'all. It makes what I do so, so worth it. So thanks again to all of you that lift my heart on, on a daily basis. I appreciate y'all. So if you're interested in Wren or, or any of the products that I just showed y'all, you can go over to Name Brand Wigs. They are happy and ready to help y'all. And I have a coupon code. It is Kim30. You can use it at checkout, but be sure to check in that description box which brands that code is good for. And I'll be seeing y'all soon in my next video. Sending you all lots of love and hugs. Stay well, my friends. Bye.